Hey, what's up, nerds? It is Paul at Radio Free Hammer Hall, and I want to talk a little bit more about Lion Hammer. Now, I had done a video previously, and uh, there was a whole lot of response to that, um, and I think continues to be. A lot of people have been viewing that. Um, a lot of comments and discussion, and I realized two important things. Uh, first of all, I think my tone and such in that was not quite what I wanted to be. And people, there were some people that were kind of like offended by it. And that's definitely not what I meant to do. Um, I was just, I don't take a lot of things seriously. I was meant to be kind of like joking around and memeing stuff, but um, you know, it sometimes I screw that up and yeah, I would rather, you know, suck it up and apologize and uh, move on from there. Um, Sorry, a little sip of coffee there. Got to keep keep the brain working. Um, <coughs> uh, so, the other thing is a few people in the discussion of this made some really good points that I wanted to address and, um, you know, kind of revisit the idea and reevaluate a little bit. Because, um, you know, I think this is certainly an ongoing thing. And I, uh, you know, want to give it its uh, due coverage here. So, question, was I wrong? But Reverend, I need to know, is God punishing me? Ooh, short answer, yes, with an if. Long answer, no, with a but. All right, so... There were a few additional scenarios that I kind of missed or wasn't thinking thoroughly about the first time through. Um, the big thing, I, I think the kind of umbrella here is things that throw a lot of attacks or even just more than one attack uh, because that's going to really multiply the uh, total number of attacks it's going to just keep making the difference bigger and bigger between a standard block versus a line. And once you start getting, you know, like, like, like take Chaos Knights, for example, they're throwing two attacks for the rider and one for the mount. That is going to throw a lot of attacks. So you're, you know, if you're going five attacks, like five wide versus 10 wide, you're going to get an extra 30 attacks. Or I'm sorry, extra 15 attacks. Is that right? Yes. Extra 15 attacks. My math is bad. I don't want to dive too deep into the math of this and uh, probably should have at least taken a couple of notes on that. Anywho, um, right, you're going to get another 15 attacks. And that's definitely going to have a measurable impact on uh, the power differential between the two. And, you know, that's not just the elite units that is going to start coming in with units, um, abilities like Frenzy, um, buff spells, and fighting in extra ranks. All of those are going to, you know, pretty dramatically increase your line hammering ability. Um, so, other things uh, going in the other direction. Um, the other thing that I didn't really think about was if you're trying to reform into a line, when you're in an in-game scenario, you're going to definitely be limited depending on what's actually going on in the game at the moment. Um, you're going to have terrain and other units simply in the way, and you're not going to be able to fan out like that. Um, the other issue is that... Uh, the community hates this, and I think part of the thing that's going to make this not as big of an issue is the fact that people are vocally upset about it and vocally don't want people doing this. So, you know, there's even, you know, some events that are uh, comping this and preventing people from going too wide, and I think the... The thing is, like, you're going to have backlash against you if you do this. Um, at least if you take this to extremes. I think if you, you know, fan your unit out a little bit wider, 
just to get a few more attacks in to maximize things. I, I think that's perfectly reasonable, but you know, going like 25 wide, um, you're, you're gonna, your sportsmanship score is going to get hit or uh, your opponent's never going to want to play with you again. So I think the social aspect will also kind of curtail this. Um, and the last thing, it was a rule issue that I had never even thought about, and that is the drilled special rule. So with this, the thing that I wasn't thinking about was that you can redress the ranks before charging. I had AOS rules in my head making that assumption that, you know, it, a move means a move and a charge means a charge and a move doesn't mean a charge. Whereas in the old world, it seems like move can also mean charge and march, which um, it's like a difference in wording. So it just didn't quite process in my brain. So this is going to take away some of those downsides. It's going to let you reform uh, and then, you know, immediately go wider and then charge in. And so you don't have to be moving around in a line. You don't have to do a normal sort of reform to get in a line. You can just kind of do this, and whenever it is um, applicable, you just reform and charge. So uh, that is, I think that makes drilled an even better ability than I had once thought it was. Um, I was kind of trying to find, like, oh, why do you use this on certain things? And now this is crystal clear to me why you use it. Um, so, I mean, I guess in summation, what is my thought on this? How big of an issue is this? Um, you know, I think this is probably going to just be used more strategically than anything else. And I don't think we're going to see very many instances of people going to extremes that are unreasonable. Um, you know, between it not being possible in the current situation or just feeling like a total jerk for doing it, <laughs> um, or, you know, knowing that everybody else is going to think you're a jerk for doing it. I think those two things are really going to uh, cut things back significantly and all of the instances where it's really not going to give you any benefit. So, um, I think the bottom line, I think, is I think in general, it's not going to be a really big problem, but, um, you know, everybody's going to be pretty upset for those jerks that do it. That's kind of what it comes down to. Um, so it, I think um, there's probably going to be some feel bads when you've got uh, a unit that has drilled and it you know, doubles its width and charges you. And all of a sudden, you know, they're double the attacks that they were a minute ago. And you did just didn't think of it, didn't see it coming. So you didn't really have anything you could do about it. So um, that I personally, I like that kind of play where you're thinking strategically and, you know, using your abilities in kind of a little bit of an unusual way. Um, but you know, my personal philosophy on that is um, transparency with my opponent. And, um, you know, before I attempted to do something like that, I would, you know, consult with my opponent, consult with my TO, and just kind of say, like, hey, like, are, are you ruling this that you can do that? And if I'm playing, you know, with my opponent, I would definitely remind them, hey, like, this unit can do that. It, and uh, so don't get caught out. <laughs> and that usually... Uh, you know, takes down some of the anxiety that people feel about it. So, um, yeah, I guess bottom line is I'm not really too concerned about this overall. Um, and I think from a strategic perspective, I think it was intended as long as you're not going to extremes. So maybe we'll see errata or FAQ in the future. Uh, I have a feeling we're probably going to see um, comps in tournaments to curtail this. And, um, you know, it, it hopefully um, it's one of those things where it's like, 
you know, a comp, I think, is not really necessary in a lot of instances. But sometimes, I think the reasonable comps to put in are the ones where it's, you look at it and you're like, wow, I'm never going to do that. But that thing prevents some sort of outlier situation that is um really uh, not good um so you know i think like a good example is like rule of three how how often are most lists are most players going to run or want to run more than three of one thing i think it's going to be rare but if you do you're probably spamming even more than just four and you're doing it for abusive reasons so i think that sort of thing is actually pretty reasonable um because it's a limitation that doesn't hurt normal people <laughs> anyway uh i'm gonna stop rambling uh feel free leave your comments down below and i'll talk to you all later